Hi guys, my name is Vikina and I play a mage in the World of Warcraft Guild Method. I'm creating this video today for Razor Academy to hopefully show you guys the core changes and some of the new mechanics that Missa Pandaria has in store for mages. Fire is currently shaping up to be the dominant spec for PvE raiding, so I'll be focusing on that spec in particular for the duration of this video. Let's start by taking a look at which spells have changed and the new additions to our arsenal. Fire Blast has had a complete overhaul and is now referred to as Inferno Blast. This spell is a guaranteed crit on an 8 second cooldown. Thanks to this great spell design by Blizzard we were able to eliminate some of the dreaded RNG that we had to endure in the past. Ignite is now our mastery and is applied by a majority of our spells. Thankfully we no longer require a crit for the Ignite to apply. This means that it has a significantly higher uptime. Pyromaniac now increases most of our spells damage as long as we have our primary dot on the target instead of giving us just a cast speed increase. On to our new spell which we unlock at level 87. Alter Time which is on a 3 minute cooldown allows us to bend time and causes us to return to our current position, health, mana, buffs and debuffs when we cast a second time or after 6 seconds. This spell is going to offer us a great DPS cooldown or a brand new survivability cooldown depending on how you want to use it. We can take maximum advantage of this spell by using it slightly after the pull to gain 6 extra seconds of buffs such as Bloodlust, Potions and Procs. As you may already have tested yourself, the talent system has changed completely for Mists of Pandaria. Here's our brand new talent tree full of spells to choose from. The first tier offers us spells that gives us mobility. My favourite is the classic Scorch. A lot of the Mists of Pandaria fights require movement at some point or another and Scorch pulls ahead. On complete standstill fights you should definitely consider using Presence of Mind, but in almost all situations you should avoid Ice Flows, it's very weak and it has quite a long cooldown. Our second tier contains some survivability talents for us. Temporal Shield is very strong in raids, not only is it off the global cooldown but we can use it when we know that damage is incoming to get it all healed back to us. With good healer communication this is shaping up to be one of our best defensive spells. We have all the CC spells in the third tier. For now I'll be sticking to what I know best, Ring of Frost. As for the other two spells, they're quite situational and I haven't found a good use for them in PvE quite yet. On the fourth tier we have more survivability talents. I found myself actually using all three of these depending on the encounter. Cauterize is still your lifesaver. Greater invisibility, although it uses a global cooldown. 90% damage reduction for around 4 seconds is very nice and is great for handling burst damage phases or even for raid utility. The 5th tier has our mage bomb spells. At this time I would completely avoid using Never Tempest. Stick to what we know best, Living Bomb. Not only is it doing amazing damage, but it's a spell we already know how to utilise well. Frost Bomb is also very strong right now, but only on fights which have around 6 and above targets grouped together at all times. The final tier is our biggest game changer, but unfortunately the spells limit us greatly in terms of mobility. There's currently two viable PvE options. The first being Invocation, which forces us to cast Evocation around every 40 seconds. This means that we have to take short rotation breaks to maintain this buff. The second option being Rune of Power, which forces us to stand on our runes to regenerate health and gain a spell power increase. For Fire, my choice is Rune of Power. We can place two at a time, it has great consistent healing and we don't have to break away from our rotation to maintain it. Moving on to our Glyphs. A lot of our new glyphs are very situational, but I recommend running with the following glyphs for most encounters to maximise your damage and survivability. The minor glyphs come down to complete personal preference. Currently I am using Mirror Image, Illusion and Arcane Language. Due to the changes that Mr. Pandaria brings, it changes up our single target priority system quite a lot. Let's see it briefly in action. Ok, here we go. Before the pull you've got a few things you need to do. You need to place down your Rune of Powers, and then cast mirror images, followed by a pre-pot and then a pyroblast on your target. And try not to ninja pull like I did. You want to proceed by spamming fireballs and then using an inferno blast when you get a heating up proc like I just did to ensure that you get that pyroblast off. You should keep spamming fireballs until you see that your ignite is high enough for it to be worth using combustion and that's when you'll really see the numbers start rolling in. It can be quite tricky to work inferno blast into your rotation. It depends on the haste effects that you're under and the distance of the mob, although hopefully with some practice it should feel a lot more natural. 
While Fire is currently the most favoured spec for mages in Mists of Pandaria, Frost has had a complete overhaul and surpasses Fire in certain situations. I'll soon be writing a longer, more in-depth guide which will cover all the mage specs, so be sure to check out methodwow.com or follow me on Twitter to see when it's complete. Thanks for watching guys, remember to check out some of our other guides for Mr. Pandaria, and as always feel free to contact me with any questions via one of the methods on screen now.